And we have a fight breaking out of the backstage area. Might as well warm up the ambulance siren now. These two are out to hurt each other. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Steel chair to the ribs. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Whoa, not quite yet. Corey, so many things can transpire in a matchup like this. What could be that elusive X factor? It is mission critical to be adaptable. If it's anything goes, then use that to your advantage before your opponent does. This is an environment where a competitor can be reminded real quick what goes around comes around. And you might be forced to revamp your strategy when you least expect it. Swing for the fences with a kendo stick. Send your opponent crashing through a table. Fight up the ramp. Whatever insanity you can come up with is fair game. to the gun. Oh, brutal forearm. And this backstage area is in danger of being torn apart if this continues any further. Well, say goodbye to our safety deposit because I see no signs of things slowing down. And Owen's able to reverse it. KO with the torture rack applied. Into the neck breaker. And I just cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. I know there was a lot of disdain between these two, but there has to be a better solution than duking it out backstage like this. He switches it back around. A counter answered by another counter. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. And that will do it. Not getting up from that one. So and coming into tonight, we know this superstar is focused on creating a stir in the women's division. But she'll be having to contend with Nikki Cross and her uniquely frenzied approach. Cross is a wild card. You have to expect surprises from her. Yeah, Nikki Cross is a born brawler. You add to that equation her fury, and she can really turn the tide of any fight in an instant. Into the turnbuckle. Oh, close line. Going counter for counter. DDT! Up the ropes. She's staying elusive. Able to sidestep it. Paying it right back with a reversal. Nikki Cross is obviously a talented superstar, but one in particular could give her the advantage here tonight. It's Nikki's in-ring ferocity, Cole. Fewer as tenacious as Nikki Cross. She never knows when to back down or call it quits. That can make her a very difficult opponent. And Cross on the wrong side of the brawl there. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. That could have been a surprise early ending. <laughs> nice counter from Cross. Ooh, she hit the corner hard. <laughs> what are we going to see here? Full head of steam. Uh oh. Cross. Cross looks lost and won't like what's coming. She scores big with the counter. Great counter. Oh, this is my favorite. The old wild butterfly suplex. The best kind. Cross can't stop any offense coming her way. Yeah, Cross needs to come up with a new plan fast. Quite an effective counter. Nikki finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Yeah, but she needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. And she denies Cross. On the middle row. She's showing signs of slowing now. 
Well, all things considered, Cole, it's not a bad condition to be in at this point in the match. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now, treating the torso to yet another attack. Quick thinking pays off. Reversal on top of reversal. Going up high with the punch. Tossed into the corner. What are we going to see here? Oh, and a steam. Uh oh. Uh-oh, it's gonna, we're gonna see it! Right to the back of the net! Ooh, she just turned it around! And the explosion occurring ringside. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. <laughs> Powerless position to be in right now. Three. Oh, man. <laughs> She's sliding back into the ring, back into the action. Contact. Ah, oh, what a smash! That is just insulting. Looking bad for her here. Uh oh, pump handle applied. What's coming next? Time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Here is your winner, Jackie. This was a truly spectacular win. We are looking at the textbook definition of a Seth Rollins truly believes that he and he alone is the future of WWE. And you doubt him? Just look at all Seth's accomplished here. All of the foes he's defeated and the accolades he's won. Seth deserves to be the future of the WWE, and I don't think anyone can stop him. I won't deny Seth's resume, but I do think declarations like that show how highly Seth thinks of himself. But don't overlook his opponent, a superstar who is tired of living in the shadows. He reverses it. Pulls the trigger. Slay the king. Looking for an early pin. He kicks out before two. This one isn't going to be ended quite so easily. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. Boy, there's plenty. If this lands, it's over. Got the knees up just in time. Just laying it in. Devastating kick. Oh my lord, what is he? Oh, he throws! Oh, 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 o
This match grinded him down a little. The future's bright if Seth can pull out more moves like that. Impressive reversal on Rollins. Caught square by the Haymaker. Countered it just in time. They just punch him in the chest. Reversal. Can he take advantage? He's one step ahead there. Kick okay, right to the midsection. Spin kick to the midsection. Full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, able to counter. Elbow smash. Shake him. Uh oh. It's gonna. We're gonna see it. Now Rollins needs to end this. Makes the cover. Two. Three. And Seth Rollins is the winner. That match deserves another look, folks. Seth Rollins. The King Slayer. There comes the big man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring, representing the Alpha Academy from Superior, Wisconsin, weighing in at 330 pounds, Otis! Well, here's uh, the former Mr. Money in the Bank. He can blame Tucker for not having the contract anymore. Yeah, what a travesty that was. Otis is as wide as he is tall. The age of Alexander continues. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Obviously, this man's grown cocky. He doesn't respect the locker room veterans. But Cedric Alexander does possess the skills to back up the aforementioned cockiness. Cedric Alexander, former cruiserweight champion, former Raw tag team champion. And listen, he's got a bright future. aggressive Otis. There was a time that this man was all about stakes, weights, and doing the worm, but now it's all about physicality, power, and excellence. Otis was always built different, but now he is different. Different and dangerous. Then there's Cedric Alexander, who's reached a point of intensity personified, as hungry a superstar as you'll find in WWE. I may not necessarily agree with Cedric's tactics as of late, but I cannot deny how incredible of an athlete Alexander is. 
jumping elbow drop. And Cedric expected that. he'd never used before. His competitiveness and his aggression. Otis is an elite level athlete with world class strength. He should hit hard, hit often, and by no means should he show any mercy. Just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Elbow drop. He's struggling a bit here. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. These superstars have endured so much punishment. On the top. Elbow drop. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. I don't know 
if this is a good idea. This is going to take more strength than he has left. A lift up. Wow. And the damage must be mounting on the torso to this point. Every hit more detrimental than the last. Otis was just a step slow. Very nice. Take your face out of that one. It's been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I think these fans are driving them to claw that extra inch. You can sense the ride. These fans are big. Shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Good timing with that reversal. Ooh. Getting him into the corner. He takes control. Cedric showing he still has fight left in him. It is scratching. Cedric Alexander. March. Cedric with a game ender. Shoulders down. Two. Three. And that'll do it. It's finally over with the win. And here's another glance at these superstars in action. Extremely competitive match. Cedric Alexander just took his game to a new level with that performance. <laughs>
comes the big dog. And from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman! While some people may question the change in Roman's attitude, you cannot deny he still works harder than anyone in WWE. Takes no opponent lightly, engages in psychological warfare even before the bell rings. And there is no question about it. Roman Reigns is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history. Oh, he'll show why he's at the top of the food chain. One of the most dominating superstars of recent era. You can go ahead and say it, Cole, of all time. And here we go, a lot of superstars involved in this matchup. Each team is going to look for their competition's weakness. The weakest link on a team will certainly be exposed. A team would be smart to identify their own weaknesses and keep that superstar out of the fight. DDT! Brutal stomp to the body. And just getting started. Look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch. Oh, foot just stomping down. Next breaker excellently executed. Partner tags in. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him up. Entering a six-man tag match has challenges unique to this type of match, doesn't it, Corey? Absolutely, Cole. In a six-man tag match, the pace can get absolutely frantic. Not only does the ref have to keep track of the legal man, but the opponents do too. It's very easy to lose track, and once you do, you can lose the match. That's gotta be it. Shoulders up before two. Right now, I just don't know what it's gonna take.
Hunter's under the ropes. Evading offense. Tagged into the action. Ooh. Here's a combo of strikes. Wow. Knee right to the midsection. He's lost some of his win now. Bang it back with their own count. Slip. Solid punch. He turns it around. Ooh, bullseye. Drop kick from behind. into the ring. Check out this power, ladies and gentlemen. Up this. and... Jackhammer! This is just ridiculous. Look at the power. This is downright superhuman. Dead with the cover. And he only stays down for a one count. Still not enough to put him away.
is starting to become a factor at this point. Make no illusions of it. This is coming down to a battle of attrition. Boom! Face first. Shoulders down. three on three and it's three times as good take a look This is what it's all about. All the hard work, all the training, it's all for achieving big victories like this one. The irresistible force. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from San Diego, California, Nia Jax. There is no one else quite like Nia Jax. The only competitor to be in the men and women's rumble on the same night. Wait a minute. Come on. What do they think they're doing? Oh, come on. Oh, what a cheap shot. That's just evening the playing field, Cole. What a disgrace. This referee has seen it and issued a warning. Yeah, now is not the time to piss the referee's patience. Do you guys have any expectations for this superstar as this match gets underway? Yeah, I expect to see a side of her that we've only seen glimpses of. I'm talking about her mean streak really coming to the forefront. She certainly has that malicious side of her, and it could be extremely beneficial to let it out here. Nia Jax has made a career here in WWE out of laying waste to her opponents and absolutely dominating them in the center of the ring with her size and her power. The irresistible force is a pillar of ungodly strength in this division, and don't you forget it. 
Some superstars in the back would argue that Nia Jax has a bit of an ego. Corey, do you see that being a factor in this matchup tonight? Uh, I'll make sure Nia knows that you said that about her, Cole, but to humor you, I'll admit that sometimes Nia gets too confident in her shots at success over the course of a match, only for it to backfire. A vigilant opponent will look past Nia's confidence and keep the pressure on the irresistible force. That's what needs to happen here. Ooh. Nia Jax just getting worked out here. And Nia Jax in an unexpected position after some early overconfidence. Clearly didn't expect her opponent to remain so vigilant. And it's a lot. What's gonna happen top. here? Oh no, oh no, I think I know what's gonna happen. No way! Here it comes! Ah! A Spanish fly! She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. She's got an answer for that! looking for ways to wear out her opponent. Just straining the body. This is excruciating. Look at the body. Look at how her body is. Oh. Now the backbreaker. This is excruciating. Oh, what an escape. And 
She's stunned in the corner. Not where you want to be right now. Absolutely. Oh, this is going to be nasty. This is going to hurt from way up top. Wait, wait a second. Hold on. I think we're about to have some company in this matchup. <laughs> oh, I think you're right, Saxton, and I couldn't be happier. I love this. Shocked that she kicked out. Wait just a second. I was afraid this was going to happen. Can you guys believe this? There she is. What, what do you say? I mean, this, this is. This Can this ref even count the three? She's about to rise up to something catastrophic. Nia Jax brushes that one off. Series of reversals. Oh, man. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. She wants it one more time. Flipping backstabber. It's all over but the crying. This place has come unglued. Rightfully so. Let's take another look at these women in action. came out of nowhere and an unexpectedly quick end to this match there's the consequences of getting caught unprepared just goes to show you you got to be on your toes at all